Hello everyone, one of my quick unedited type videos. I haven't done one of these for ages, just an unboxing. And when I do these, it's usually a classic or vintage style fragrance. That will indeed be the case today. Excited to do this, been a while. I'm also going to unbox or at least introduce you to my new watch, which I was very excited to get last week. Let me know how you're doing down there in the comments. One more quick thing. If you are in the USA or Canada, please go to myfragrancesamples.com. There is a link in the description. That is my recommended place to get your niche and designer fragrances in the USA, Canada and Puerto Rico, amazing range, and it's run by a great friend of mine, Mark, a top guy in the community. Let's open it up then. This fragrance arrived a couple of days ago. I ordered it online. It was through eBay. It had to come from Germany, and the fragrance, I believe, is still made. I think it is still in, in production, so I don't think this is a vintage. I guess it's the modern formula. It's a 1975 release from a French house. See if you can guess what it is. I'll actually, let's let's do it this way around. Let's give you the note listing first. So the note listing for the fragrance of the day is gonna be uh, top notes of citrus aromatic, top notes of lemon and bergamot, middle notes of geranium and tarragon. And in the base, we've got musk, pepper, and cedar. Now it cost me just about uh, just under 50 euros. Uh, so I guess that's 40 something pounds, including post from Germany. Let's open her up and see what we have here, folks. Okay, easy to open, did not require the box cutter so far. Not super great protection on that but it's uh, I think it's arrived intact so that's okay can you guess what it is guys so 1975 citrus aromatic lesser known I think it's fair to say French brand I assume they're French from the name and here it is it is masculine 2 or masculine 2 from the house of let's just change that camera angle a bit so we get the full thing it is from the house of bourgeois bourgeois paris how very bourgeois it's a 112 mil bottle eau de toilette love that classic bottle design very much has the feel of a mid 70s type of uh, a fragrance note vive a fougeuse energique I get the gist, but I don't know what it means. So we've got a barcode and a long note listing. So it's a modern production of a classic fragrance. Glad we can still get these. Let's open her up and see how it smells, folks. Here we go. Oh yeah, I love, I love, 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 love the bottle, bottle design there. That is a beautiful bottle design. Let's see if we can get us a decent shot of that. Absolutely great. Love, love, love the bottle design. Look at that fantastic old fashioned kind of text there. I really, really like that. Masculine, dirt. I honestly don't know what happened with masculine one. I tried to look it up. There are some other flankers to masculine, but I didn't really find out anything useful about the original masculine number one. Let's get that focus back in there. So very, very intrigued to find out. I love citrus aromatic fragrances. I love my fougeres and my chypres, but I'm a real sucker for a citrus scent. Springtime coming up, hopefully soon. We've had a long winter here. So the important thing now, now, folks of course is to give this one a spray I'm going to do it on the wrist and give you my first impression of the scent folks here we go squirt 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 it's a hat trick okay classic very classic citrus aromatic fragrance this is great mmm this is my kind of thing. It really does have an old an old school vibe. Slight reminiscence of things like Capucci Porom. A little less dry and a little bit more spicy than that one. So then let's just go over that note listing again. Again, just the first impressions here. So we've got lemon and bergamot with geranium, tarragon, musk, pepper, and cedar, 1975. If you like things maybe like YSL Poron from 1971, a little bit of a rugged masculine vibe as you would expect with the name, mixed with beautiful fresh natural citrus and those aromatics, the geranium, the, tar the tarragon. Very solid, interesting first impression. I'll come back to this one. We'll try and give it a, you know, either in a list video or a full review. I think I'm gonna enjoy trying this one out over the week or so to come and then I'll, I'll feature it again somehow. Let's go on to the wristwatch next then. And really excited, my first very expensive Rolex. I have a, the other Rolex that I've got is actually a Datejust, which I won't show in this video. And uh, that's a 1963 model. So you might think that those are not so expensive as some of the more hyped models. But here we have something a little bit different. This is uh, not the problem. I've unboxed this before. This is not the real unboxing, but it is in, an, um, uh, in a box, although it's fallen onto the side. Okay, so the watch in question here is, uh, a GMT master watch okay so this is a classic Rolex design 
think they were first released in the 1960s. Mine is a 1999 model and the uh, reference number there is 16700. I'll probably put a little bit of B-roll in there. So the GMT watch, obviously meaning Greenwich Mean Time, it has this extra hand, the red hand with the, the white arrow on it, and that allows you to track one other time zone other than your own. And with this model, you do that by rotating the bezel. So I can rotate that bezel to a position where that, that hand tracks around, I think, at uh, half the speed of the hour hand, and therefore it will keep uh, the correct time if you want in Sydney or in New York or whatever. So it could be handy if you have relatives abroad, if you work with people abroad. Obviously nowadays we can easily find the time in another country quickly online. And uh, so most people just leave the bezel as it in the position that it is and just enjoy the design. The other great thing about it, which I really like, is the faded bezel. So the fade effect on that red, could be described as uh, you know a flaw, an undesirable thing, but a lot of them do pick this up over the years. The patina there, a little few scratches too, but that gives it that vintage feel. Though it's only a 1999 release, so it's not super old. So for me, it has the best of both worlds. It has the, the vintage feel and look of the watch due to that lovely fading on the bezel or bezel insert, but it also has a little bit of robustness that comes with uh, being only 20 something years old rather than 40 or 50. Famous wearers of the watch, well, quite a few of them actually, will go to the movies and even the world of politics. So um, we had Dustin Hoffman wore one of these in the film Marathon Man, classic from the 1970s. Also, Magnum PI, this is my favorite guy to wear it, had uh, the Hawaiian shirt wearing Tom Selleck in the 80s uh, series there, Magnum PI used to wear one of these. Also, so we have Che Guevara, the famous Cuban revolutionary, and the, uh, the main man in Cuba, Fidel Castro. Both of these guys had one, and I think Castro gave one to Guevara, which eventually fell into the hands of his Bolivian captors, who, who of course uh, killed Guevara. And uh, we're not quite sure what happened with the watch, but I think it ended up in the hands of one of the guys who, who captured him. So interesting, yeah, great, fascinating history. Also, Marlon Brando wore one in the film Apocalypse Mount now, but uh, in keeping with his crazy character, he removed the bezel from it. So it was a bezel-less version, a kind of, and he had it on a kind of a strap. Very, very happy to get that into my watch collection. I'm not about flexing and, you know, look how clever I am. I don't have tons of money. It was a big purchase for me. You can still have just as much fun with an old vintage Seiko. I like old vintage things. You know, something that you can buy for £100 or less can probably give you just as much fun. But I'm happy and excited to have this in the collection. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance here, Bourgeois Masculine. Masculine de. Still smelling great on the skin so far. Citrus, spices and woods. Classic old school feel. If you don't like old school, this probably won't change your mind, but if you do, you're very likely to like it. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to go to NortonandWilson.com. Another great choice for the springtime would be Bon Viveur by our brand. And the new Gravitas Flanker will be out very, very soon. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Sometimes life may stink, but at least we can always smell good. Bye-bye.